Welcome back to All Things ETH. My name is Aaron and on this channel we talk about all things Ethereum. We talk about projects, NFTs, play to earn, and price. And today guys, I want to talk about price in general. Yeah, Ethereum's breaking out. AXS, Axie Infinity's token is breaking out. Uh, SLP pumped yesterday so hard and Ron today is, is pumping like crazy. So let's get right into the uh, token prices and uh, show you my screen here. So we've got, uh, we've got a lot going on guys. We got um, Ethereum is up uh, just just like crazy the last uh, month here. So let's uh, just do a real quick check on how far that's run. Um, from uh, March 15th to today, we've got a 24% uh, jump in the price from the, uh, the previous low guys uh, back here. And I think the lowest is gonna be back here in January 22nd to today's price, which is right about um, 3100 so we are at 316 right now we're up 40 percent and that is a huge gain considering we came down from all-time highs at nearly five thousand uh, dollars per coin for for ethereum we are heading back up in the right direction i do think we're making we're making a higher high here which is fantastic so between um uh, we we just to, just this morning, just now in the last four hours, we broke the resistance at uh, three thir, uh, three thousand dollars and four or three thousand forty dollars, and we are heading up past that right now, which is a huge sign, guys, that we are headed in the right direction. Um, we did break out uh, back here. This is kind of the uh, dead cat bounce, if you will, but we were making uh, lower highs back here, and now we're starting to make our first higher high. Uh, since this uh, this lower high here at uh, in March um, early March so now we're in the end of March guys we're coming up on uh, on April soon and I do think we're going to continue to trend up um, I'm I'm very hopeful we've we've broken resistance here this downward sloping resistance and uh, we broke broke that last week and we are going to head up here I do believe. For uh, for the next um, couple of days at least, we may see a retracement down. Um, you know, I don't think we'll break above or stay above thirty two uh, thirty two hundred dollars for for long. We'll probably break up to it and retrace before the weekend. Um, at least uh, in in my opinion, we're starting to see on uh, trade confidence, uh, uh, trend exhaustion, and price versus oil money flow indicators. Which if you don't um, own these guys. I highly recommend them. I do a lot of swing trading with these indicators and they are dead on all the time. I don't mess around with uh, um, with um, the uh, other indicators that are that are uh, classically used for retail traders like um, MACDs and RSIs. I uh, strictly use the price versus well money flow because it shows you on chain metrics of what's going on and then the the trend exhaustion is um, I'm not really sure how it's calculated but man it is so strong in its predictions of what's going on and and when we'll, we'll see reversals in the market on a short-term basis it does work best on the four hourly so um, so if you're interested in that uh, head over to tradeconfident.com and and check out these indicators they're still on sale actually I believe for uh, uh, through the end of the month maybe 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 even a less time than that so check those out um, shouldn't be too expensive over there to, to take advantage of those and I've I've paid for them um, Well and above what they what they've asked for so anyway with that. Let's move on to other prices. We have uh, AXS um, up 16% today. It was up uh, I think like 20% yesterday already so we have broken out massively from uh, from the lows here around uh, $45 all the way up to uh, 67 at current, and that is a 50% rise. I do expect this to uh, uh, to I did expect this to rise before the uh, Axie Origin launch that we have upcoming. Um, I would like to see it come above 72, as that's our structure high here, and then this uh, the resistance here. I think 73 is going to be pretty strong resistance between 71 and 73 going to be strong resistance. If we can get through that, guys, I think we'll have some smooth sailing. But I do think we'll probably see a rejection around 72 as it is structure high of, of this. And uh, so if you want to take a little profit now, if you're in this uh, this this trade, if, um, if, you're, if you're an investor in Axie Infinity or AXS token in particular, you might want to take a little bit off the table. I'm personally just holding and uh, staking on their platform. I've got a bunch of AXS. In fact, I'm, I think I'm up to, let me uh, connect my wallet here. 
I think I'm up to 100 AXS in my in my uh, Ronin account. So let me um, log in here and show you. <clears throat> got to open the right wallet. Got a bunch of scholars here, guys. Connect my wallet, and yes, I have 99.3, and then I'm uh, staking rewards of 0.5. So um, when I restake, probably at the end of the week here, I'll probably be at 100 AXS staked. Um, the uh, APR is currently sitting at 73. The more people stake, the less, the the lower this APR is going, and it just keeps uh, continues to drop. But you know what, guys? That uh, puts a lot of faith in the system because the the higher the TVL, the total value lock, that's 1.45 billion dollars with a B in uh, AXS token staked right now, and this keep this number keeps rising from a dollar perspective because of the uh, the run up that we've had over the last couple days in the price of AXS guys we're sitting at 57.94 and 11% uh, over the uh, last 24 hour period that's how this is calculated here and uh, Katana um, on 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 um, trading view here it's based on the uh, the day um, so the last uh, you know since since the uh, the switch over in um, the uh, you know crypto day if you will it's kind of weird it's, it doesn't really start on the hour um, at least you know based in the US so anyway we've got SLP rising as well as SLP rose massively yesterday we went up um, I believe it was like 20% in the day maybe even 30% yes 35% yesterday and we've retraced a little bit but we're coming back up um, right now 27% uh, up over yesterday and uh, Ron too, or Roan, if you will, the Ronin uh, chain um, coin is up, um, let's see here, 15% in the last 48 hours. Um, let's just check on a shorter time frame. I think we're up like 10% in the last 24. So, yep, we're up just over 10% uh, at 10.5% uh, in the last 24 hours. So it's fantastic, guys. Um, I did expect this to happen with the launch of, launch of Origin. A lot of people on Twitter were saying, why the SLP pump? Well, guys, uh, I think we're going to see more breeding coming up soon, especially with the new uh, ear cards that were leaked yesterday. Um, that was a pretty cool leak. Uh, let me run over that and just go over that real quick. So uh, Lunasian, I think, is going to be the substack. Axie.substack.com. Let's go into... Uh, the uh, ear announcement, the leak here was pretty cool. Um, some interesting things here, I just want to quickly go over a lot of uh, the um, reptile cards are uh, poison cards again. In fact, I think we've got three poison specific or at least two po poison specific ear cards. The uh, small frill is going to apply three poison to all enemies, all enemies, which is fantastic. Heal this Axie for 30 HP on top of it. Pretty awesome card there if you've got um, small frail ears on any of your reptile axes or any of your axes for that matter. And then side barb at apply two poison and bleed for four turns to a random enemy. Uh, that's going to be pretty cool. Um, so it's kind of a backdoor if you will. Uh, you don't have the, uh, the the jumping poison is a big uh, part of the current meta. Um, I just bred, bred a couple uh, jumping poison cards. In fact, I want to go and look into my uh, my inventory now and not right now but in in the next uh, 48 hours and just really see and dive in to uh, see what ears are um, uh, my axes actually have I haven't really paid attention to to be honest what ear and eye cards my current axes have especially outside of my beasts after Jiho uh, uh, put out there a tweet about who has puppy parts on their on their on their beasts I did. Uh, run in and actually sold one of my beasts for uh, 0.1 Ethereum that had both uh, puppy eyes and ears, which was pretty cool. But then I went in and bred a couple as well, and I'm selling those for a little bit more than I would have um, that than than the breeding cost currently. And uh, do hope to make some cash on some uh, a flip there. But I also uh, do want to look and show you what puppy does. Puppy is a healing uh, uh, card and also removes a curse card from from your deck which is pretty cool so we'll see what uh, the puppy eyes look like but the puppy ears um, I was expecting something more like a, a you know this if you have this uh, for every puppy card maybe similar to um, similar to Nutcracker 
um, where all nutcracker cards of this actually gain six damage. This battle, I was hoping that maybe puppy, um, puppy eyes and ears would work in uh, in conjunction. This does not um, imply that that is going to be the case, so that's interesting. A um, lot of cool things going on in the uh, the the aquatic cards, guys. The um, this new uh, uh, buff called Bubble should be pretty interesting. If it is uh, something that's going to be a buff, it could be a, a uh, debuff as well. So we'll see what that is going to look like, whether it's a shield or if it's some sort of, um, you know, uh, anti-shield, if you will, for your opponents. But uh, pretty interesting. So your team gains one bubble. So that, that should be, in my opinion, some sort of, um, you know, extra shield or... Or maybe it uh, keeps uh, debuffs from happening on your team if they have a bubble. So we'll see what happens there. But other interesting things here, guys. We've got the reptile cards with a lot of poison. Um, a lot, these, this new bubble, uh, you know, skill um, effect on the aqua cards. We've got uh, the announcement of puppy. I think the nutcracker was what we expected. I'm pretty excited to uh, to use my triple nut uh, Ronin imps now. I've got a couple of those that will be super effective, I think, in uh, in Axie Origin when it launches. Um, now, some of these plant cards are pretty interesting. It looks like we have some summons here. So, uh, summon Clover and uh, summon Trunk in these, uh, in these uh, plant cards, which should be pretty interesting. I don't think we've seen this many um, summons in a single class of, you know, Axie parts um, yet. And I'm pretty stoked about this, especially... Um, the uh, the hollow being a zero cost summon card is pretty interesting. It does take away 75 uh, HP from your from your plant, which is kind of rough. But uh, if for a zero cost with a summon, that's pretty interesting. And then uh, bug cards. You know, one thing that uh, um, Gugus mentioned in particular is a lot of our um, a lot of our axes to this point have been bred with uh, aqua and bird ears and eyes because of the speed factor in um, in Battles B2 or Classic as they're calling it currently on some of the tweets that we've seen. Um, don't let me forget about that. I'll be coming back to that in a second. But um, um, right now, uh, a lot of bug cards have been not uh, um, used in the eyes and the ears because of the the uh, speed diminishing factor of bug, bug eyes and ears. So I do have a, a couple... Um, I think I've got a couple earwigs, a couple larvas, you know, here and there, but for the most part, I've got bird. Definitely got a lot of little owl cards uh, or parts on, on my axes for speed ups. I know I have some risky birds. I know I've definitely got some curlies, early bird. All these are definitely, I don't think I have any pink cheeks, which is unfortunate because I think this banish will, um, the, the, the discard up to two cards, then draw, uh, draw them that many back is going to be huge. Um, this particular card zero cost is going to be able to get rid of those jinxes that are going to be placed in your discard pile from your opponent and it also reshuffles your deck a little bit for you so that'll be huge. Um, I don't think I have any pink cheeks. Uh, Peacemaker I definitely have so um, in, as far as aqua cards because of speed factor I definitely have some Nemos, Tiny Fans, Absolutely Gills. Um, so a lot of these I'll be uh, finding on a lot of my axes that aren't purebred because of the speed factor, but I will not find a lot of the uh, the plant and bug cards. So I really need to look into what effects these are gonna have on my current axes and start thinking about what I'm gonna be breeding in the future as well. So with that guys, thank you so much for watching. A lot going on. Oh, the last thing about Axie Classic, and that's what they're calling V2 as far as a couple of guys on Twitter um, that are part of Sky Mavis. Um, it sounds like, and, and I'm just going to put this out there because because uh, Gugus has been back and forth on this a little bit, and a couple other the the other Axie Infinity um, influencers on YouTube aren't really sure if we're going to have a season 21 in uh, whether it's going to be uh, Battles V2 or Axie Infinity Classic as we have now, or if it's going to be an Origin. And I'm um, I'm going to put it out there. I'm 90% sure that we're going to have one more season in the current form of Axie Infinity. I do think we'll see the soft launch in Origin come by the end of the month, probably, you know, uh, next week. Um, let me look at the calendar here. So we have um, next week we've got uh, the 31st is the last day of the week, and that's a week from today. So um, 
the last day of the month, and that's a week from today. So I do think we'll see Axie Infinity uh, within the week in uh, the Origin launch, and that's going to be, be a desktop-only launch. I don't think it's just going to be PC. Some uh, influencers have mentioned that it may be PC only. Um, I don't think that'll be the case. I do think we'll see it on Mac and and, uh, and and PC alike because it'll be on the Mavis Hub application, and that has been available to both PC and Mac users um, for, for some time now. Um, so we'll see that there. I'll be so excited to report on the new uh, the new uh, gameplay there. I'll probably do some streaming even. Um, there's plenty of other streamers, obviously, that'll be doing that. But, um, guys, I'm really excited for the Origin launch. But I do think, I do think I'm 90% sure that we're going to see one more season. We'll have a short off-season, maybe a month-long off-season. Um, but I, by the end of April, I wouldn't be surprised to see one last season, season 21, be in uh, an Axie Infinity V2 or Axie Infinity Classic, the current game that we still have. And I'm super stoked that I have some great teams lined up for that. And I may even do some last minute breeding in uh, in preparation for, for that season. So, um, you know, this is not financial advice. I don't um, expect you to, uh, to breed based on this in, uh, information, but I do think we will have one more season in uh, than classic mode here. So with that guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to see more uh, information just like this about Axie Infinity and all things Ethereum. Um, I do have two announcements to make. I'm still giving away 100 SLP for every single video that I post before the at launch of uh, Axie Infinity Origin, which looks like we've got a week left. So between today, tomorrow, Monday, and Tuesday, um, next week, I'll probably have four more opportunities for you guys to earn SLP. I still have two or three videos out there that I haven't rewarded SLP on. Every single video has to have at least 10 comments. Um, follow the instructions in the description below how to get uh, yourself, yourself entered into that um, 100 SLP giveaway. But then also, guys, if I hit the next 100 um, subs that we get, the next 200 subs, the next three... 300 subs that we get. I will be giving away a scholarship for each of those. We have plenty of axes ready to go, plenty of teams ready to go, and uh, um, go check out my video on how to become a scholar. I do have a video on that I posted a couple of months ago. Um, join our Discord. That's the most important part. Join our Discord and be active in the Discord, guys, and um, I will be picking those uh, scholarship winners with every hundred uh, subs that we get. So right now we're just over 1,500 subscribers. When we hit 1,600 subscribers, 1,700 subscribers, and, and 1,800 subscribers, I'll give a, um, a team away for each one of those. So, and that will be definitely, I'll, I'll, I'll be definitely giving those away, especially if you, if we get to a season 21. Um, if we run into Axie Origins launch first, I may hold on to those uh, Axies to see if we uh, if we have some energy changes and these sorts of things bef um, before then. But with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. And again, well, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more information about Axie Infinity and all things Ethereum just like this. God bless.